shit back. Anybody ever done a bad beer video yet? With a ram? He looks a little unhealthy. My uncle shot this at uh, in Tennessee back on Thanksgiving. And it's time for a bad beer ram skinning video. Well, I'm going to drink the beer and then I'm going to start skinning the ram. And I might show you a few clips later on down the road. Heath Gannon sent me uh, some bad beer. I just did the uh, video earlier tonight with the uh, Widowmaker Black Ale. He sent me a Beer 30 Light. Uh, he does outdoor vids and whatnot. Better get that out of my pocket. But uh, I thought he might enjoy enjoy seeing this uh, beast here. He sent me some uh, trail cam pics and some hunting pics. Uh, kind of show me about his channel and whatnot. As you can see, I'm getting ready to uh, make that into something like that over there on the wall. But uh, I've had it frozen in the freezer. I got to cape it out tonight. Uh, can't keep this cigar lit. I got to cape this out tonight. I got a wild boar too. I got to do. My uncle shot both those down on a hunting leash down in uh, Tennessee. Not a leash, a hunting hunting guided hunt, basically ranch or whatever. Paid a couple grand. Uh, now he's gonna pay me. <laughs> it's tagged and legal. They ain't around my area anyway. But the, yeah, that deer actually had a tag in its ear. Or that uh, ram, I guess, not a deer. But I got my old trusty uh, cape and knife out there. And uh, my combination skin and knife, and we're going to cape this thing out. I've never done one before. I'm not even exactly sure. I'm just going to do it like I do whitetail. Do a Y cut on the back. Go ahead and uh, slice her on out down the back of the cape. Not sure how to skin around the horns, but we're going to figure it out. That's what we do. That's what catfish redneck does. If you can't fix something, you just figure it out. If something breaks, get it fixed. Had a paintball tournament here yesterday. Me and my kid got the blow gun out, paintballed up my freezers and my refrigerator. Look at that shit. Anyway, God, I wish I gotta get some new lights, folks. I had two uh two of my both of them lights quit working on me, man. I've changed bulbs and whatnot. It's the actual igniters or whatever the thing that starts them up or the starters. I don't know, but they both quit on me. Kind of sucks. This is where my table is. I do most of my work. Uh, all them are still good. I got four of them in this side of my shop. Bought them all at the same time when I remodeled this deal and built this addition on. For some reason, it's right there. Both them two together. So this one whole side of my shop's a little bit dark. I mean, it's not dark, but it's, uh, you don't have that intense, like, <laughs> my, when I first put all the, I had eight of them, eight of those brand new lights in here, and got one on that end, and one on this end, them are just, them are older, but these got the smaller, uh, high efficiency bulbs or whatever, my buddies are all like, <laughs> damn, you could do brain surgery in here, but it's a little bit dark now. All right, folks. Oh, you don't look so healthy. Eyeballs are kind of sunken in from being frozen. Wasn't a very big animal, but uh, when my uncle came back, he kept telling me he was going to give me some meat off that boar and that ram. The boar weighed 350 pounds. I guess the guide said he'd been down there 12 years, said he ain't never seen a boar. That's the biggest boar he's seen come out of there. Um, Kind of got a double looking horn on this one side. Got a little seam right there, and it kind of splits off at the end. This side's solid. Uh, 
but it, this wasn't very big, 120 pounds maybe. Got looks like he got a little scar right there on his face. May have to, uh, what I do on those to repair those is I'll slice from the inside. I'll cut on just a small loop. I'll cut on each side where there's no hair and then sew it back together so it'll draw the hair back together and most of the time it hides those, you know, gets rid of those scars, especially if it's a big one. But that's right on the nose, so I'll probably try to try to fix that a little bit. Looks like he's got another one right there. May try to fix those. But uh Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut into it. I'm going to pause this, and uh, I'm going to do a little skin in here, and then I'll come back, finish my beer, and uh, show you my progress. Oh, man. Just like a mature buck, back on the back side of the horns on this thing was a pain in the butt. Skin and knife wasn't hardly even working. I ended up getting a scalpel out. But I've got... Uh, Flap between the antlers off, clear down about to the ears, got the neck all loose. Working my way down now, I gotta get through the ears. Through the ears, then start live TV folks. <laughs> and into the uh blood it went. Alright, I gotta wipe my screen off here. But I gotta work through the ears, the cartilage of the ears now, just like on a bus. Sorry folks, I'm wiping my camera off. But uh, then I start underneath the neck and work it toward and you know, get the rest of the antlers on the bottom side loose and then through the eyes and that the rest should be pretty easy. But uh whew, back to this beer thirty. Yeah, he sent me this one put yuck. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought when I drank the first couple six packs of it. Yeah, it's just got a tarty sweetness to it. This will probably be the uh, last time I drink it. Oh. But anyway, I got my scalpel out and uh, got it worked around the tip. The antlers are kind of a pain in the ass. On a buck, you usually just take this. Uh, thing here and work along the burrs and it comes right off. This thing here is pretty tough, so scalp is a little bit sharper, but alright folks, I'll get a little farther down, I'll come back and give you a shot. Alright folks. I had to get a quick measurement here. Got a measure from the uh, inside of the eye to the tip of the nose with the old tape, but I wanted to show you where I'm at here. Don't look like I've got very far, but once you peel that down. Got everything down, the ears off, down past the tear ducts. Uh, now it's time I gotta get into the mouth, cut the mouth and the inside of the lips loose. You gotta have the inside, uh, like where you put your dip at you, the inside of your lip, you actually have to split between the inside skin and outside skin and turn it inside out and then flesh all the meat off of it. But what you, you use that inside skin to tuck up into the uh, styrofoam form that holds the lips. You tuck it up to disappear the inside skin to where it would look, you know, their, their fur looks natural on the outside. But that's what holds it all up in there. Anyway, we got that going. I mean, I bet that skull right there is an inch thick. Uh, I know I've seen these things run as fast as they can and headbutt each other, headbutt trees, and don't even phase them. They sometimes drop to their front knees and stand right back up, and take off again. He said this one ran quite a ways and hit a tree when it was uh, shot. Oh, anyway, I got to get back to I'm gonna get inside the mouth now and work that loose, and I'll. Uh, show you the cape when I get it all off. Well, there it is folks. She's caped out. Finishing up this uh, beer 30. Thank goodness. That stuff's got the funkiest aftertaste. 
Uh, there's the brisket. You can see this thing's got kind of a beard on it. Pretty neat. See how it all sticks up right there. Hopefully this video won't get flagged by the PETA assholes. Uh, my cleaning, cooking, a snapping turtle. Part one got flagged. Part two and three didn't. Uh, they made it an over 18 video, which is bullshit because it was an instructional video. I would, it's, it's something I teach to my seven year old kid, you know, how to clean and cook an animal, you know. It's knowledge, something you learn when you live out in the sticks, you know. But uh, yeah, part one got flagged because I guess the turtle's moving around even though its head was cut off and all that. But just, there's just people in this world that are too ignorant to understand real life other than a McDonald's wrapper and a Starbucks cup. But anyway, we got this uh, ram caped out. I just did a uh, regular Y cut between the antlers, just like I would on a white tail. There's his nose. She's all caped out. I gotta get some measurements off the uh, back of the neck here. This was a small animal. It didn't weigh about 120 pounds. It was actually my uncle took uh, his nephew down there, grand uh, grandson actually. Uh, I'm his nephew, <laughs> but uh, he's only 14, 14, 15 maybe 15. He took him down there and they shot that boar. I'd show you that, but there's about 50 things on top of the freezer right now. And I don't want to have to move it all. But uh, yeah, this ram's getting ready to go. I got a. I'm gonna flesh it out tomorrow. That's some floor tile just for weight to hold that hide down. But that's that's the skin for that one. And uh, I'm gonna flesh this ram out tomorrow. That pickles are really clean. I washed that hide pretty good. As you can see, it's pretty clean. So I'm going to throw that ram right in that pickle and uh, reuse it. Make the most of your chemicals. Well, thanks for the beer, Heath. Hope you enjoyed the uh, outdoor video and the uh, ram skinning. Tell you what, them were a pain in the ass skinning around them. And this has uh, only just begun. The good thing about this goat, the hair on the face isn't real heavy, but it's heavy enough. And the hair on the hide is so thick. Any holes that I get when I flesh it or anything, they'll be easy to sew and you'll never see them. Um, I did on the back of the neck. What side was it here? Or it was right between the head there when I first started. I did cut a couple holes. I don't see them. But uh, this hide and hair, is, or this hair, there they are right there. Made a mistake when I was skinning it out in the back of the uh, neck right in here. But that hair in there is two inches thick with down underneath of it. Then you, once I sew them up, you'll never see them. Matter of fact, on this white tail that I just mounted this last week, when I fleshed it, I actually had a, a cut on the bottom of one of these sides. It was about that long. And I sewed it up and you can't you can't see stitches you can't see you can't even tell it's gone uh, I became pretty proficient in fixing uh, holes so all right folks I'll see y'all later catfish redneck signing out